exactly how many of those present at the Capitol complex on January 6 were FBI confidential informants, agents, or otherwise working directly or indirectly with an agency of the United States government. People want to hear this. How about the one guy? Go in, go in, get in there, everybody. Epps, get in there, go, go, go. Nothing happens to him. Did any of these individuals play any role whatsoever in proving or facilitating the events at the Capitol? have this January 6th committee, why do we not know some of the people who we know were really involved in, in orchestrating this? They got pulled off the most wanted list. Christopher Ray was asked at the um, under oath what FBI was involved in that, and he would not answer the question. And so I think that this is something that, that has really been used uh, for political narrative and posturing purposes. But there is an obsession with this amongst the DC New York uh, uh, journalist class. And again, I think it's because it allows them to spin a narrative um, that, that they want to spin. They did not care as much uh, about what happened after 2016 when you had a false Russia collusion conspiracy theory that was put on for years because they were involved when doing it and how that may have damaged trust in institutions or all that. So um, so I just think that it's, uh, it, it is what it is, but um, it's not something that I've been con concerned about in my job here, because quite frankly, it's not something that most Floridians um, have, been, have been concerned about. How many FBI agents or confidential informants actively participated in the events of January 6th? Sir, I'm sure you can appreciate that I'd can't go into the specifics of sources and methods. Uh, did any FBI did agents any FBI or agents confidential or informants confidential actively informants participate in the events of January 6th? Yes, yes or no? Sir, I can't, I can't answer that. Did any FBI agents any or confidential FBI informants agents commit crimes of violence on January 6th? 6th? I can't answer that, sir. Did any FBI agents any or FBI informants actively encourage and incite crimes of violence on January 6th. Sir, I can't answer that. Ms. Sadburn, Ms. who is Ray Epps? Yeah. I'm aware of the individual, sir. Uh, I don't have the specific background to him. Well, there are a lot of well, people who are understandably very, very concerned, about, very Mr. concerned about Mr. Epps. On the night of January 5th, 2021, Epps wandered around the crowd that had gathered and there's video out there of him chanting, tomorrow, we need to get into the Capitol, into the Capitol. This was strange behavior, so strange that the crowd began chanting, Fed, 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 Fed. Ms. Sandburn, was Ray Epps a Fed? Sir, I cannot answer that question. The next day, the next day, on January 6th, Mr. Epps is seen whispering to a person, and five seconds later, five seconds after he's whispering to a person, that same person begins to forcibly tear down the barricades. Did Mr. Epps urge them to tear down the barricades? Sir, similar to the other answers, I cannot answer that. Shortly thereafter, the FBI put out a public post listing, seeking information on individuals connected with violent crimes on January 6th. Among those individuals in the bottom there is Mr. Epps. The FBI publicly asked for information, identifying, offering cash rewards leading to information, leading to, for information leading to the arrest. This was posted and then sometime later, magically, Mr. Epps disappeared from the public posting. 
According to public records, Mr. Epps has not been charged with anything. No one's explained why a person videoed urging people to go to the Capitol, a person whose conduct was so suspect the crowd believed he was a Fed, would magically disappear from the list of people the FBI was looking at. Ms. Sandburn, a lot of Americans are concerned that the federal government deliberately encouraged illegal and violent conduct on January 6th. My question to you, and this is, a, this is not an ordinary law enforcement question, this is a question of a public accountability. Did federal agents or those in service of federal agent actively encourage violent and criminal conduct on January 6th? Not to my knowledge, sir. Thank you.